Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, aka Sconcy Business. Today I want to talk to you guys about the top five blockchain social media platforms that I grew on in January. So this doesn't necessarily mean the most profitable or the biggest platforms, because some some of these platforms are fairly new and small, but this is rather how well I personally have grown on five blockchain platforms and it's the top five for what i've grown on these are not necessarily the top five um though some of them are i just wanted to share with you what was performing the best for me in terms of new followers following me um and for all i know these could all be bots so you know take it with a grain of salt but i would like to briefly look at these platforms and um just show you you know, a quick overview of each and explain why I think they're doing really well right now. So the number one platform for my own personal growth in followers and people checking out my content is Publish OX. So I'll share my screen here. Publish OX, if you haven't heard of this yet, it is a very, very cool blogging platform that operates sort of similarly to, I would say, like something like Medium or any other kind of blogging platform, but you get uh, free cryptocurrency via tips. And um, it's not tips that you actually have to donate in the way that you would assume tipping might be, but rather sponsors from other cryptocurrency companies will come in and sponsor uh, the tipping. So essentially, right now, the most recent sponsor is the basic attention token from the Brave browser. So as you can see here, this last post has earned me $2.64 worth of earnings. So while there's three sponsors right now, BAT is generating the most. So you can see that I'm earning 9.8433 BAT from this post. And this is just when other people like your post, the Brave Browser Basic Attention Token will give me a percentage of the total amount that they've they've given to publish ox so <clears throat> i don't actually know what the value is but say they gave you know five million bat they're giving me a tiny fraction of that uh, for the amount of upvotes i got from my post so actual users themselves are not losing any money to tip other people it's not a donation you are earning from the sponsors they're just giving the money out based on how other people have voted. So it's very similar to other platforms like Steam, except the Steam that is being awarded is different cryptocurrencies based on the sponsors that have sponsored um, during some certain time frame. So I'm pretty sure it's just until their sponsorship crypto runs out and they also go on bids between each other. So I think BAT has the highest bid, so it's mostly BAT, and I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, you can, you know, fact check me on that, but that's generally the the bottom line is that if other people like your content, the sponsors will give you cryptocurrency for your efforts. The important thing here is that it's crypto agnostic, meaning that they don't have a token of their own, so there won't be an issue where their own token loses value and then people stop posting on the platform uh, like what happened after the big crash with Steam where about half of the community left after the big crash. So there's a lot of other things that they avoid, like issues that they avoid within the blockchain space. Um, mind you, the content doesn't actually exist on the blockchain. So it's not, you know, decentralized, distributed. It is similar to medium but you're able to earn cryptocurrency and i've grown quite significantly in the last month um, as well as a lot of the months that i've used this platform it's a really really great place for crypto it's very crypto focused you can post other things like as you can see here i posted something about my new year's resolutions you definitely don't get the same traction as as you do from posting uh, related to crypto and blockchain but you know there's still some market for it and um and yeah so that's publish ox that's just a very very brief look at it you can find a more in-depth review on my channel i've probably done a couple but 
I will be doing a more in-depth review when I do my next comprehensive review. So look out for that. The second one I was going to show you guys is library or LBRY. And um, typically I use the app, but I'm just going to show you in the browser just because this is a good sort of example of what the browser can give you because um, the browser is one of their newer updates. It's probably been like three or four months since they added this, but um, being able to use this platform in the browser makes it much more accessible to the average person. So all of the content on here is decentralized. It's on the blockchain and you're able to earn LBC tokens for um, for people tipping you. So people in this sense, people are actually tipping you in the sense that they are giving you their currency. However, you can earn LBC quite easily on the platform from inviting people from every day when you watch um, something every 24 hours, you're able to earn a random amount between one and 100. And they're worth about three, two or th two to four cents. I mean, it's always moving around. But um, if you get 100, that's like $2. If it's worth about two cents, then that's a free $2 just for watching something. So even as someone who is just using the platform, you can be earning a decent amount that you wouldn't otherwise. And then ideally for creators, you would use some of that to donate to creators. And that's generally what we see happen. And when you donate to creators on their video, it locks into the video and then helps the video become more popular. And they can either leave it there to help it gain popularity or they can uh, withdraw that and keep it for themselves. You can also support someone by um, giving some of your crypto to boost their video, but it's still your crypto at the end of the day. And eventually you could take it back. It will lose, you know, the boosting effect, but you don't actually lose the money that you wanted to keep, but you're still able to support them and help give them more traction. So in that way, you know, eventually, you know, five months later, you can take it back because it's not gonna, you know, I mean, Presumably, the video won't be as popular five months down the line. Um, but again, the point being that you can support people as long as you'd like to, and then you can retract that support when you decide, rather than tipping them directly, which gives them your money. Either way, there's a lot of interesting different ways to earn or, or be able to use your earned currency on this platform. And I highly, highly recommend it. I've started to see a lot more people using this platform. I've been getting more followers lately. I'm up to 305. Again, a lot of these numbers are pretty mediocre, but these are all very, very new evolving platforms. And they're very good and there's a lot of great value to them. Their coins have good value. So I highly recommend checking out these platforms. Library and Publish OX, amazing, amazing platforms really, really awesome. So we're going to be checking out some more newer and alternative platforms um, than we have previously. So I've never done a review for this one or talked about it much. It's called cause.tv built on the contentos chain. And um, as you can see, my wallet is currently worth about 1450 based on the uh, vests that I have from that from earning um from people watching and all that good stuff and i have 640 pop which is like kind of like their points like it's not necessarily the crypto this is the crypto um but i've been getting a lot more followers and there's a lot more traction that i've noticed on this platform very recently so i'm up to 159 followers now which is not a lot but Considering before I barely had any, recently this has been getting a lot of traction and I know that they've been running campaigns so they're doing a lot to advertise this more and get the cause.tv network out there more. Um, again, it's a little confusing with all the points and, and all these different things, but it's definitely worth checking out as a great alternative for hosting your videos. So you're actually fully uploading the video. It's not like a YouTube embed or anything like that. It's 
I don't know how perfect it is for centralization versus decentralization, but so far I've, from what I've seen, they've done a really, really great job. And maybe I'll do a more in-depth review and actually go through their white paper and everything to give a better overview of this in the future. But I really just wanted to briefly take a look at it and, um, and talk about the current growth. And again, the reason that I'm mainly focused on growth here is because for people who want to start using new platforms or to set up on alternatives, they want to know what's the best for them currently. So for me as a creator, these have been growing the best. These aren't necessarily, again, though, the most profitable or um, the best growing platforms in general. This is just where I've grown the most in the last month. So I would still recommend Steam. Mind you, it's not going to be covered in this review and uptrend. Those are really, really solid ones. But yeah, this is what um, my creation side looks like. And I've just uploaded all my videos, same as I would on any other platform. It's very straightforward, very simple. Highly recommend checking out cause.tv. So the next one is Float. And I have done a review for Float, so maybe I'll link that in the description. But there's a lot to Float that makes it really unique and while it doesn't necessarily use a blockchain for posting content they sort of act like a patreon merged with twitter so you can post like you normally would with twitter or with patreon where you can have these like previews for your links and essentially i just share stuff that i would be sharing on twitter and all my other platforms but the interesting thing with this platform is that you can get donations and set up monthly donations with subscription tiers like Patreon. And right now you can see I'm getting $3 a month in Bitcoin donations. And it's pretty cool. You can just go and check your balance and I can see the transactions of who's sending it so I can thank them and maybe give them prizes or whatever it might be. But um, yeah, you can collect your Bitcoin here and then you can send it out to your you know your cold wallet or whatever you need to do and um yeah it's it's, a, it's just a really really awesome platform for helping creators who want to be able to earn money in a decentralized way without having to be concerned about um you know what kind of speech they use and various you know things like that uh if you look at the rules for float it is one of the most simple rule breakdowns of any platform in existence. Don't spam, don't dox, no malware, no squatting usernames. So like you can't go and uh, collect a bunch of famous people's usernames and then selling them. No um, adult imagery without posting the non-safe or work tag. No impersonating other accounts unless um, you've marked as such and you have to be at least 13 years of age. So it is a very, very simple platform. There's no you know subjective rules that aren't straightforward and you know you have to interpret them a certain way it's very straightforward it's very easy to use they have everything that you would have on a normal platform um, plus they have live streaming with free super chats meaning that if someone donates to you to get their chat seen in in the in the chat during the live stream they won't take any cuts so you get everything that people send you. There's no platform taking any cuts or fees or anything like that. You get everything and it's very easy to set up these subscription tiers. So I highly, highly recommend checking this out as a great alternative to Twitter and or Patreon. So definitely check that out. Really, really awesome. And I've grown a decent amount in the past month. This was the fourth popular, most popular for me to grow on for my own self again this doesn't take into account how well everyone else has grown it's just for me this is saw me social or so me social and on this platform you it's kind of like facebook but crypto and um you add your friends they add you back and you're following each other it's not like twitter where you follow and someone could follow it's more like facebook or linkedin where you have that connection request and then you're both following each other I've gained a decent amount of uh, friends on this platform in the last month or so, and I've grown really well, and I've earned a lot of crypto on this platform too. There's a lot of potential 
to earn on this platform and um you gain it's it's very similar to steam for people who are familiar with steam and steam it where you get money from your upvotes part of that goes into your power which allows you to give other people upvotes and here it's called g fuel it's your influence token and again these up upgrade your voting power which allows you to give other people more money with your upvotes and then you also get rewards in the form of so me points which can then eventually be uh, swapped for um, ong tokens only when you're verified though and eventually you'll be able to verify yourself using your saw me points to kind of get around that barrier and this helps them with dealing with spammers and all that kind of stuff you can see your weekly rewards here and you also earn um, advertising points or g bucks for the future when you can actually advertise so it's good to get those up and then you can have some free advertising in the future anyways though you'll, you'll have to check this out for yourself again it's very similar to like a crypto facebook without all the negative connotations of facebook you can also make your post connect to your steam account and post on steam as well if you want to save some time and uh, make your life easier with cross posting but again for the most part it just it sort of functions like like you would assume facebook would except you earn crypto for your posts so really really cool platform highly recommend you guys checking it out and um yeah i mean out of the top five platforms for growth for myself this made it to the top five i probably use 15 so this is in the upper 33rd percentile of uh, of platforms that i've been spending my time on so again if you're only gonna break it down to five based on how well i'm growing these are the five i recommend these aren't my top five per se personally for what i believe is the best and the most profitable decentralized when you've got to take in a lot of things into account this was really just based on where have i grown the most in the last month and just a brief overview of these platforms if you hadn't seen them yet so that's it for today i don't want to get too deep into any specific platform because i'm going to be doing my very very highly comprehensive in-depth blockchain social platform review probably in the next month or so because i try to update it every three to four months maybe less point is though you're going to see a brand new review coming out very very soon and it's going to cover all these platforms and so so many more so be on the lookout for that if you did watch to the very end of this video thank you very much for watching make sure to comment hashtag number one ham so i know that you watched to the very end and uh, have an amazing day you are awesome don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'm scott cunningham aka scott's deep business signing off cheers Thank you.